And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing well. I have some damn computer issues and they still going on. I have no idea what's happening with my dear computer, but something is it. So I hope this gonna work. I'm not sure. We will see. I'm sitting here. I was supposed to start recording two hours ago, but it didn't work as I wanted. How do I feel about that? I'm not so pissed off that I normally would be. It's kind of impressive. I go nuts normally when, well, normally, but I did before when things go the wrong way. I stress a lot but i just try to google everything that could be wrong but it seems not to working so i was okay it is what it is but i really want to put out a video a day so i just hope this is gonna work about the story yesterday how i arrived to norway or was going to pass the border to Norway. The next story comes tomorrow. How it went the first um, time in Norway. And it's kind of interesting also to give you a little teaser because I have very little money. Well, I thought it was a lot of money, 1,500 euros, but Norway is really expensive and I I didn't know that you need to pay like three months months in advance or one month or two months depending on where you're living to <clears throat> get an apartment. So I ended up living at work out in in uh industrial area by the highway for seven months <laughs> but that we take the rest of that tomorrow that was a crazy thing so just because i came to norway things didn't go as smooth as i i well i didn't have any expectation really more than i had my dream go to sri lanka pay my debt and go back to sri lanka but we're going to take this journey in parts, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. First, I thought I'm going to do different videos for it, but I don't have time and I don't have the energy to do a lot of videos when I'm doing one a day. Later on, it's going to be some videos about health and fitness, because I think that's uh, something we all need to maintain our body and feeling great mentally but that's later so today i just took one of ren's song because i was so stressed out and just computer failure and i don't really remember if i heard this uh, track before i have some memory of it but Let's see, and it's Jenny's tail. So I think we jump right into it and see what he has to tell us this time. So let's go. Here's a friend. <laughs> Quiet dark night in the empty street Somewhere in the city 
Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention telling her to beware Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me I mean it! Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reached with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City Jenny lay still on the cold concrete she's far out somewhere to sleep well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Oof. Yeah. It really reminds me of my youth and the street violence. And these days, like, if I, I don't live in Sweden anymore, which I'm very happy for, but it's also how it become with all the violence and weapon, knives, all the killing, all the bombings, all the robberies, all the rapes, all of everything that I was very, it was not like that when I grew up. It was lots of violence, that's for sure. But people have been fucking fighting for since we arrived here, I think. But the climate of society, I see what, what's happening in England also and UK. What's happened to London. And I think like, that's why I teach self-defense for these young girls between 16 and 18 because they're starting to move around in the nightlife. And it's... You can't really tell people to not drink because that's one of the best self-defense it is to not be drunk so you are aware of what the fuck is happening even if you walk the streets thousands of times <clears throat> you don't know who's gonna show up and what they're gonna do yeah, it's sad but there's also, at the same time, nothing new with us 
humans. We are very close to violence. And it's always been around us. And some people can really not control it. And dangerous people are uh, people that are afraid, really scared people are very dangerous. It can happen a lot of crazy things then. He just goes back in time. It was so much violence when I, on the streets when I grew up. Like it, it was, I'm, it's scary. And even if it doesn't, it was not so much weapon when I grew up. Not so much guns, of course, we had knives and things like that, butterfly knives. But this was this when people jumping on it, people when and bottles in the head. And I, but it's the same here in Sri Lanka, that's why I never engage, even if people is trying to. Here is the violence here is just insane. When it, the shit goes down here, it's just. It's like. I don't know what to say. It's really about. It's not about, yes, I'm gonna knock you out. It's, I'm gonna kill you. Over very simple things. Over some tourist chick. And somebody gets jealous. And then it's just. But here, I, well, I, I, I think I always have that intuition. I can smell it in the air when it's something with violence going on. And I just, I go home. This track really, too, especially when he told the story about this 14 year old kid been smoking Ganya with his friends and that was me running the streets of my hometown and just looking for trouble. Thirty years ago, today is day eighty one of sobriety, and with a lot of technical problems, I hope I can edit this now and <laughs> get it out and then go to bed tomorrow is a new day. I hope this can be a good life. And if it's not, I'm gonna create it. I get pretty like uh, surprised at myself when I don't let things like this just take over all my emotions. I mean, with the technical problems. So. Because I, I I have this like I want to do this when we do a day. That's just my goal. And now it comes so far, so I just well, why don't fuck this up now, please, please computer. Yeah. Okay, yes. Let's see if I can get this going. So with that said, stay strong. Stay safe. And always, always stay and feel less pissed off.